Hi, I'm John Twist of University Motors. Today is a real training video. This is how to put a seat, here's my seat, into an MGB. So the first thing that I want to do is li liberally grease the seat tracks. Well, first of all, Wayne did a lot of work on this and uh, cleaned up the seat tracks, scotch brighted them so they're all, you know, they're all free from, uh, um, free from rust and so forth. And he straightened them to make sure that they're nice and straight. So here's this guy. So we're going to put him in like this. And he's got some grease on him so that theoretically he isn't going to slide too much. That's the idea. So we've already taken our bolts here and run those down in the holes in the floor. Fortunately on this one all four holes are okay. I have some gel lube here. You always uh, take the gel lube and, and uh, well lubricate the holes so that the, the guys are going just fine. I've got nice pieces of wood here. I've got the correct spacers. So now we take our seat and carefully put him into place. Now my goal is to put the rear bolts in first. So I'm going to start with my, my inside my inside one first. So here we go, we can see the hole right here. Get our bolt started here. And I've got a quarter inch drive socket. I don't want to get this tight, but I want to get it down, get it kind of get it kind of snug. Now I got to screw it on with this side and adjust the adjust this guy so he comes back far enough. I can take my bolt here and stick him in. This is very, I mean this one's really, really easy. But why is it easy? Well, I'm not done yet, so maybe I shouldn't speak so quickly, but why is it easy? Because everything is straightened. Everything is straight, everything is in place, all the threads have been chased. Now I put some grease on the one track so it wouldn't fall out. Okay, so these guys are pretty snug. Now I'm going to take my seat and slide him all the way back. And my cameraman is going to come around the corner. And we're going to I don't know if it's even possible to see down in here. But I'm going to put my inside one in first, and for that I have a shallow socket, a shallow socket on my quarter inch drive. Okay, so I'm going to go in here and go ahead and uh, see if I can get him, oh no, I can't get this guy back far enough, so now to get my shallow socket on here. This isn't going to work. I'm going to grab another tool. Here's my, uh, here's my ratcheting wrench here so I can get him down in here where there wasn't room to put the socket. I don't want to get him tight, but I got him snug. Now I have, uh, oh, look what I found. I'm going to take my last bolt and put that right down in front here. And again, we'll do our best to get our wrench on this.
Well now, here it's gone just perfectly so far. So here, here I'm jammed up because I got my wrench stuck on the bolt. I didn't do it the right way. You can make a case for putting new, new bolts in here. It's quarter inch fine. The camera's not sped up. I'm really moving it this fast. And we're almost snug here. So if the seat is like bound up really, really badly and you can't move it, you can take the seat tracks out and clean the, clean the seat tracks, clean all the rust and crud off and everything and then, and then uh, put it back in. Anyway, I've got this guy forward. Now my cameraman is going to come to the back and show you how I'm just going to tighten these up just a little bit more here at the back end. I don't want to get them too tight where it actually bends the track. I'm just getting them really snug. I guess if I were to uh, tell you what torque I'm going after, it's probably, I don't know, five pounds or something. So that's about it. Now the seat slides forward and aft effortlessly. Uh, got too far forward there. And if I can uh, get my rotund body in here, see that now the seat slides very nicely fore and aft. I did not show the stop on the back. Let me take a peek at that for just a minute. And we'll get right here, this guy, this block prohibits the seat from moving back too far. Well, what if you're so big, I mean like you got long legs, right? And you can't fit into the seat because the seat won't go back far enough, take this block off and the seat will move back another inch and a half or so. So, so for those of you who've taken all day to put your seats in, it doesn't have to take all day. It can go pretty quickly. Hey, we're looking forward to uh, another couple of great months here and uh, if you uh, if you have projects at home carburetors you know generators control boxes transmissions whole cars hey send them along I don't want to sound like starving Marvin on the way to Florida but stop I need your business hey until later safety fast <laughs>